Hi guys, in this tutorial we'll be learning how to add food court page to your app. Food court page allows you to add multiple restaurants with their food and beverages menu, helping customers get their desired meal from their favorite restaurant. When club with delivery management system, food court allows customers to track delivery in real time while allowing delivery persons to accept and reject orders as per their choice. Let's see how it is done. Start creating your app. Add food court page. If you want, you can change the page icon from here. On the simulator, you can check the functioning of your food court page. Here we have added dummy data for your convenience. You can check the menu, food, and beverage item, their prices, etc. Now let's start with adding restaurant to your food court. Click on Add Restaurant button, then click on Proceed to Dashboard. Once you are in your food court dashboard, click on Add Restaurant button. Here you need to provide mandatory information such as restaurant name, email, phone number and address. You can also provide brief information about the restaurant and summary section. If you want to upload your restaurant logo, you can add it from Add Media section. You can also add restaurant images and videos from here. Now let's add some cuisines. You also need to provide the minimum order amount for every restaurant in your food court app. Once you have provided all the information, click on save button. It will redirect you to food court dashboard. Click on manage menu to add restaurant menu. You can also select restaurant from here. Now let's create menu for the selected restaurant. For creating menu, you need to create new category, click on add now, enter category name. If you want, you can enable disable sorting order, change status and add category image from here. Once done, click on save to continue. Under the category, you can add subcategory as well as products. As you can see, here I am directly adding products. Click on Add Product. Enter product name, select product type, provide product SKU number, and select whether the product is available for order or not. You also have the option to manage inventory. If you select yes, you need to enter product quantity. In case you select no, you don't need to provide product quantity. Next, enter product price and select product unit type. If you want, you can add a short description of the product. You can add product images and videos from media section. If you want to provide additional options for your products, click on product options. Enter product title like toppings, starters, etc. Select requirement, yes or no. Input type that is single choice or multiple choice. And enter sorting order of the product. Please note, in multiple choice, you can set the limit for choices. If you have provided five items in multiple choice, you can either allow users to choose all the five items or you can restrict them to two or three items in multiple choice. Next, enter title, value, price, sorting order, and select price type. You can also add more rows by clicking on add row button. Once done, click on save button. It will redirect you to the product page on your food court dashboard. Now click on manage orders. Here you can check the order history of any restaurant by order ID or date. Now let's check general settings section of your food court. In configuration settings you will see all the settings of the restaurants that you have added to your food court page. If you want you can change the address, mobile number, delivery duration, pickup duration and maximum delivery distance from here. You can also edit the restaurant opening time and customer servicing time from here. Various other information such as fax, cloud printer, SMS and contact can also update from this section. Once done, click on save to update the settings. Let's move to rule settings. If you want, you can add new discount rule from here. Next comes delivery tab. 
Here you can select rule type of for delivery that is fixed or on basis of distance. If you want you can also add delivery charges from this section. For free delivery you can tick mark the free delivery checkbox. If you want to provide free delivery based on distance or amount you can enter the details in the respective fields. Here I am entering 300 which means if anyone places an order above 300 he or she will get free delivery. Once done click on save. In the tax tab you can add new tax by clicking on add new tax button. You can follow the same process for adding miscellaneous tax. Now let's go to coupons. Click on new coupon, provide necessary information and click on save to add coupons to your food court app. Now let's go back to configuration settings. Click on selected restaurant and pick administrator. Please note only app administrator has the permission to set up payment method and delivery system for each restaurant. Once done, you can check and update the configuration settings of administrator. Go to advanced settings and enable delivery system. Now go to payment method and delivery pickup information section. Select preferred delivery type and enter delivery duration, pickup duration and maximum delivery duration here. If you want, you can enable and apply online payment at pickup from this section. Apply minimum order at pickup. If you want to accept payment via PayPal Express or credit card via PayPal Payment Gateway or credit card over the phone or credit card via Stripe Payment Gateway, you can tick mark the respective checkbox and provide necessary information to enable it. Once done, click on save to continue. Now go to language settings. Here you will see all the default text currently being displayed in your food court app. If you want, you can change the language settings from here. Once done, click on save to continue. Let's move to cuisine section. Here you can add new cuisines by clicking on add new cuisine or change update the existing cuisine. From coupon sections, you can add new coupons into your food court app. In CMS pages, you can add terms and conditions and privacy for your food court app. Let's move to Manage Users section. Click on Manage Users. Here you can see the list of app users. Now click on Manage Delivery Boy. Here you can see the list of delivery boys. If you want, you can add delivery boys from here. Click on Delivery Boy button. Enter all the mandatory information such, such as delivery boy name, vehicle registration number, passport number, vehicle model name, phone number, etc. You can also upload a delivery boy picture from here. Click on add document for adding delivery boy's vehicle and other documents. Once done, click on save to continue. You'll be redirected to manage delivery boy dashboard. If you want, you can add another delivery boy or change the status of existing delivery boys from here. Now let's peek an import export menu section. If you want, you can add the restaurant menu by uploading CSV file from this section. You can also export restaurant menu and CSV and XLS format from here. If you want, you can check manage reports from sales report section. Click on review to see all of your customers' feedbacks. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.